What's going on everybody? Back out in the garage, back out in the bait laboratories, and today we are making some jigs. I got a custom order, so to speak. Um, the customer wanted three eight down stand-up football jigs, um, black with black weed guards, but did not want any skirts. So all I'm doing is making up those rod jigs, painting them, putting those weed guards in, and then I'll be shipping them out. The customer wanted some Ned rigs as well, but you already saw that video, so you saw me make those as well. He wanted, um, I believe, black, but I gotta check my order again. But I know for a fact these jigs that I'm gonna be making are gonna be black in color with black weed guards. So follow along in the process and see me make up these jigs. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and please give this video a like and ask me any questions down below or just say what's up or ask something totally off the wall, but those comments are really cool to get. So let's get into it. Let's make these jigs. So this is what we're working with today. Three on owner deep throat flip and pitch hooks. These are our wire keepers to keep those plastic jig trailers on there. And there's our hooks right outside of the bag. And these are what we're making today. Those are the raw jigs right there. Let's go make them. So this is the mold that we're gonna be using today. And it'll be linked down in the description below. But I wanted to give you guys a shot of the model and everything like that so you can go out and get this football jig mold if you want it. So this is the mold that we're going to be working with today. I call this the stand up football jig. I really like this mold because it has that wire keeper in there and it has this flat side on it. And I was a little hesitant at at first with this jig, but I really liked it now and I've caught some fish on it and uh it's become one of my favorite jigs. So Let's get into it, let's make some jigs. And as always, all this stuff's gonna be um, linked down in the description. Okay, well there's a few components uh, that you need to make these jigs. Obviously you're gonna need your hook. You're just gonna place it in there. The base hole pin goes in its slot. And then we're gonna use a wire keeper in there to help keep those jig trailers on there. And just close up the mold now, like so. Make sure everything's nice and flush. Come over to the lead pot and pour our jig in. Let it cool down. Okay, so our jig should be nice and cool in there. Open it up, take a look. And our jig is looking pretty good. There we got it right there. Let's keep making them. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole process over and over and over again with all 20 of these jigs, but I'll do a few of them here on camera because that way for anybody new to the channel that um, hasn't seen me make these stand-ups before, you can kind of see the process a few different times and sometimes putting these components in can be a little bit of a pain, but overall it's pretty easy. So let's get over to the next one, over to our lead pot. Put it in, and then we will open it up and check out our jig, and there you have it, all done. And we're only making three eighth ounce right now because that's all the customer wanted, and um, I already have some other jigs made up of some different orders that I've had come in. So we're only making those three eights. I don't need any for myself right now. So just doing the one at a time and uh, getting these things made up so that way we can ship them on out and the customer can, you know, finish them off and put on a jig skirt or can put on whatever trailer you could use like a hula grub you could use you know like a six cents prawn or a stroker cross something like that would be perfect to put on a, a football jig with no skirt on it they'd be great jig trailers as well so you can do a lot of things with just a a raw jig by itself um, in the past i've used a hula grub out at some of the desert lakes and caught fish and actually made those jigs without a weed guard on them and um, you're gonna lose more jigs that way, but sometimes, you know, that extra hook penetration or the ease of hook penetration without the weed guard can be helpful. So this is gonna be the final jig that I make on camera. I still got, you know, maybe 10 or so more to go, but um, put, that, put that hook in the mold, put the base hole pin in, and then we're gonna grab one of our wire keepers and put that in our mold as well, just like so. Close up the mold, come over to the lead pot, 
pour that lead in and then we're gonna close up our mold the spout right there we're gonna open up the mold pull out our jig and that thing looks pretty darn good all right so all of our jigs are done being poured now it's just time to clean up all those sprues and let me show you how so cutting off the sprue and cleaning everything up is a simple process um, you just basically take the gate shears cut it off and then we're gonna file it down I'm not gonna bore you with me you know doing this to 20 of them but you just flatten it down just like that and uh, you just rinse and repeat you just do it over and over again cut that sprue off file down make sure it's smooth just like that and then we are gonna do it one more time and then I'll finish up the rest off camera and then we'll be ready to paint. Okay, so we are ready to paint and what you're looking at right now is the fluid bed. All that bubbling is air being pumped through the fluid bed by that aquarium. All right, now it's time to paint. We got black powder paint in there and all that bubbling you see is from the air that's being pumped into that fluid bed by this air pump right there. It's just an aquarium air pump. And we got our heat gun right here that's gonna heat up our lead jig head and get that black powder paint melted onto here. And then we just gotta bake it so it's nice and durable. So basically what we're gonna do is we got the heat gun now on. We're gonna put the jig over the heat gun and basically give it like a 20 to 25 count. I've noticed that with this black powder paint specifically, um, it likes a little bit hotter or else sometimes you get like dimpling in the paint. So when I do it hotter, it melts and gives me a better coverage. So we're gonna leave this on there a little bit longer than I would with other colors, but that's just specifically for this black powder paint. So now we're gonna come over to the, the fluid bed, put it in there, shake off the excess. There we have it. So we're gonna do another one. Just get it all heated up. And I realized on the last one, I didn't take the uh, base hole pin out on camera. So I'm gonna do that um, in this clip right here. But we're just gonna get this jig nice and hot. And then we're gonna take it over to the fluid bed, dip it on in shake off that extra and then we will take out the base hole pin just like so you got to be careful because some of that stuff's hot but then now we have our opening for our weed garden so this will be our last one that we do on camera and as a good measure you know 20 to 25 count is pretty good on these um jig heads it all depends on size the bigger head you have the longer you got to get that thing hot smaller is the shorter amount of time and then also you got to kind of play with the color that you're using as well because like i said in the beginning of this the uh, black seems to need it to be a little bit hotter than some of my other colors take that base hole pin out just like that and we got one more done all right so we got all of our jig heads painted up and now we just got to make sure those eyes are nice and clean so we can get them in the oven to bake and get hardened up. I'm gonna walk you through the process that I use to clean out the eyes on these jig heads. Um, these are different um, head styles, so you can't use the um, eye buster tool like you can for the other head styles. So I just basically take a, a, a hook and just poke it through and clean out the the paint from inside the eye so that way the lines gonna go through there are good and it doesn't take a whole lot to do it you just basically stick the hook in there and it opens everything up nicely and there you have it it's opened up a little bit more all right so I'm gonna go through the process one more time with you basically just take the hook point put it through the eye of the hook kind of just wiggle it around in there to break loose some of that paint and now it's good to go so this will be the last one that I do on camera. And the main reason you gotta do this is just so that way that you don't have any issues with the, the line going through the eye of your, of your jig. And after this process is complete, we will be able to put these jigs 
in to the toaster oven to get them nice and baked and that's when this paint really cures onto the head of the jig and makes it much more durable so it doesn't chip off from rocks and stuff like that all right so we got all of our jigs ready to be baked all those eyes are nice and clean we are going to put these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees and then once they are done and cooled down we can start putting those weed guards in so i had a jig already made up in the garage and i wanted to show you guys what makes these stand up so cool is how that hook is up off the bottom and you got to imagine if there was a trailer on here and you'd have like let's just say it was a double tail grub that double the the, the two strands of the double tail grub they're going to be up off the bottom moving and just enticing that fish to bite so i wanted to give you guys uh, a good idea of what these stand-up jigs look like all said and done all right our stand-up football heads are all done being baked in the toaster oven and now it's time to put in these weed guards so let me show you how so we're going to be using this gorilla epoxy it sets clear and it sets in five minutes that's the stuff that I like to use. I still usually let everything um, let everything kind of settle overnight and um, before I use any of it, just to be on the safe side. And uh, what you're gonna do is just get some out onto this. I'm just using cardboard, just something to mix this on. So you just gotta mix it up. And once it's nice and mixed together, we'll just dip the weed guard into the epoxy and then just set it right inside of our jig so that should be good enough and literally all we're going to do is we're going to take one of our weed guards right here and get one of our jigs and we are going to just insert it into the weed guard like so try to push it down nice and snug and i apologize for those birds nothing i can do about mother nature we're going to do it again with another weed guard dip it in and then put it inside of our jig and then just put it down nice and snug just like so i'll do one more on camera and then i'm going to finish these up dip it in and then just put it in to your jig snug it down and that one's done so i'm going to finish these up and then we'll be back here in a second all right well there you have it these stand-up football jigs are all good to go and the only reason they're not standing up right now is because they don't have a collar or anything on them but once you put that collar on them they stand straight up and then there's the rest of them over there it's all just drying up right now i'm just making sure that epoxy gets all nice and hard well that's gonna do it for today's video i really appreciate you guys watching and i really hope you enjoyed checking out how to make those stand-up football jigs for that customer um thank you to them for buying them and giving me the chance to make this content for everybody else. So I really hope you enjoy the tackle making videos. If you do, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as well. I'd really, really appreciate that. Any questions or anything like that, make sure to leave them down below. Again, thank you for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time, later.